So my part was looking at the prevalence of BRAF V600 in glioma subtypes. So um, we looked at around 13,600 individuals and uh, we found kind of the top subtypes, if you'd like, um, to have the highest prevalence of BRAF V600E, or V600, sorry. Um, so we found that to be epithelial glioblastoma, pleomorphic xantherastrocytoma, anaplastic pleomorphic xantherastrocytoma, ganglioglioma, and anaplastic ganglioglioma. And kind of the powerful element of this study was we found the subtypes to be uh, it tends to be for pediatric tumors. So we're hoping this can prove the outcome for uh, if you look for the mutation and almost treat for it, we're hoping this might improve the outcomes for pediatric uh, brain tumors. So I'm sure Zach talked about his side of the review, but he essentially looked at the effectiveness of BRAF inhibitors. Um, although he didn't have a control arm to compare his results against, um, it kind of showed showed the benefits of um, doing a randomized control trial for BRAF inhibitors.